Everyone just says that it looks like a very fun movie. So uh, the comedy is great. Uh, like everyone said that the trailer is hilarious. Om Shanti Om. First film like I properly watched from start to finish and in Hindi. And Shah Rukh Khan, who I became a big fan of afterwards. Obviously working with the Dioles, like they're such iconic people in the industry and uh, you know, they're loved by all. You saw that at the music launch, all the stars that came. People are saying that I'm looking very Indian, very Punjabi, so that's a good thing. Hi, this is Christina Akiva and you're watching me on Bollywood Hangama. Everyone just says that it looks like a very fun movie. So uh, the comedy is great. Uh, like everyone said that the trailer is hilarious. And um, yeah, they're loving the songs, very upbeat, um, getting a lot of positive feedback from everyone. Uh, you know, apparently the song, you know, the Sud Tera Lal Rangda, apparently that's playing in all the weddings in the UK already. Someone wrote me that. So that's quite exciting. Uh, people are saying that I'm looking very Indian, very Punjabi. So that's a good thing. So um, yeah, that's probably the best compliment for me that I'm passing like, being Indian in the film. Actually, the first time was in 2007. I was backpacking around India and um, I hadn't seen any Bollywood films in that time. So I just wanted to have like a real Bollywood cinema experience. So I went to the cinema to watch a Hindi film, which happened to be Om Shanti Om. And um, so that was the first film like I properly watched from start to finish and in Hindi. And Shah Rukh Khan, who I became a big fan of afterwards. Um, so then I returned again to India in 2010 and that was for modeling. And that's when I really got introduced to Bollywood. So just watched a lot of films and um, got to know all the actors and my appreciation sort of grew then. And, um, and like I have a bit of a dancing background as well. Like when I was younger, I used to do a lot of um, competitive dancing, like ballroom dancing and things like that. So, and also I used to love singing. So growing up as a kid, I was always like, I want to be an actor, a singer and a dancer. Oh, how can I do all three? And then when I got to see a Bollywood film, I was like, wow, literally I can do all three. So it just excited me. And um, yeah, that's kind of how I developed the passion for it. Well, it was an amazing experience. I've always dreamt about, you know, making films, being on a film set. So for me, it was like a real dream come true to wake up every day and go on the sets and to act. Um, and obviously working with the Dioles, like they're such iconic people in the industry and uh, you know, they're loved by all. You saw that at the music launch, all the stars that came and um, I mean, they've just, they have so much experience and so they were very great at guiding me and uh, just giving me a lot of advice and um, for my first film to work with such iconic stars was like really a dream come true. And yeah, every day was fun. I mean, my days off, I was dreaming to be back on set. So I just, I really enjoyed every day of the experience. My character's name is Reet. And um, she basically is half Indian, half British, but brought up in the UK. And um, comes from like a very well-off sort of family and uh, very educated, uh, very sort of classy and into art, works in an art gallery. So that's kind of her passion. Um, sort of knows what she wants, very confident character. And uh, so she's opposite Sunny Diol. I think the thing that attracted to me about her was the fact that she's very intelligent, um, you know, smart and kind of exactly that, like knows what she wants. So, and uh, yeah, they have a very sweet romance, the two of them, um, because, you know, Sunny's character in the film, he's so like, he does these action scenes and everything and he's so tough in them. But then when it comes to romance, he's so shy and, um, you know, timid about it. And so she's kind of like the more confident one and like trying to, you know, get him to express his feelings. And so there's that whole thing. And it's it's really, really adorable. Dhanamji, I would say he's just very humble. Um, like, you know, he's been in the industry for so many years and he could easily have an ego. Like, he's had a lot of success in his time. And uh, nonetheless, he's just like the most humble, the most kind-hearted person that I've ever met. And the way that he is with his fans and everything, greets every single person, like it's really something uh, inspiring for me. And um, I take that away from him as a lesson. And um, with Sunny, I would say, He's just very dedicated, very passionate about his work and um, very disciplined as well. Like he's got his set schedules, uh, sleeping early, waking up, exercising, eating foods at certain times. You know, he's very set in his ways in terms of that. And uh, I find that really admirable because I've also tried to follow these kind of routines, but somehow <laughs> never manage. 
so he is, um, I would say, yeah, very disciplined. And um, and Bobby's fun, like, you know what I mean? Out of the three, he's the one who's happily, like, dancing in all the songs, and he really sort of gets out there and does all of that. So, um, and I really enjoyed working with him in terms of his comedy. Like, he's so good at comedy, he just makes it seem very natural. Um, and so, yeah, so he's, like, the more fun, sort of talkative one. Uh, and, I mean, Dhanamji is very talkative as well. Like, he always tells so many stories about his past, and um, he's very funny. I'd say he's the funniest out of the three. <laughs>